Hello and welcome back to PA Academy. So this is drawing 10 on the, in the video series Isometric Projection. So, so far we've looked at 9 uh, different drawings. If you missed that, those 9, I'll leave a link to it in the description of this particular video. So in this one, this is what you are going to be drawing. Here we are having this and this is an opening. I mean this part is cut off from the entire drawing. So we are going to be replicating this particular uh, diagram in this video. So before we get into it, please if you are new to this channel or you are yet to subscribe to PA Academy, please click on that subscribe button at the lower right of your screen and let me know in the comment section below if you've just subscribed through this video. Alright, so thank you very much if you have just done that. So to start with, you are going to be drawing a horizontal line. So I already have my horizontal line, so I'll be introducing the vertical line. So if you missed the introduction of this uh, of this video series on the isometric drawing, I've explained some of the tools that we are going to be using and every other thing. So do check that out also. So now we have to note the point of intersection. So which is this? So this is the point of intersection. So I'll draw that line with a faint line. So I'll repeat the same thing on this side. Alright, so I hope you can see this. So now let's take measurements. So the length here is um is one centimeter. It's one centimeter. Why this place is 80 millimeter, that's eight centimeter. And then right here we have it to be 35 millimeter so you can see it is indicated here so let me just note those measurements so this is eight and this is three point five and then this is one centimeter. This is one centimeter. So what you are going to do next is bring back your C square and your set square. with a faint line and another faint line so do the same thing here do the same thing here so the next thing we have to do is this so let's note the uh, the length here is um, three centimeters so I'm going to bring it here and measure note the three centimeter mark so that's the three centimeter mark and if you also notice um, this the distance from here that is from the top here to this point is given as uh, 1.5 centimeter, which is 15 millimeter. So let me also note, let me also note that. So let me also note that. Then let's also uh, note uh, two other things. If you notice that on this, from here to here, from here to here, this is, which makes from here to here 20, and then from here to here is um, is 30. From here to here is 30. So leaving us with, you know, from here to here is 20 and from here to here should be, let's see, I guess uh, 25, yeah. From here to here is 20, from here to here is 25. So let's note that. So 20, 
plus 25 that will give us um, 45 so so I bring in my t-square so from this point now draw this line inward I'm still working with fence lines So from here, from this point that I marked, which makes from here to here uh, two centimeter. So join this. From the point of intersection here, I'll extend it. So now from here, I'm going to draw a line starting from here straight up. So there are two measurements I want to take, which is from he from here to here, which is um, 4.5. So this is it. And this 2 cm, let me just note it. So I haven't done that. Which is this line here is what I've just drawn. So once you turn your your set square, you connect it with this. So you can see that even from the point of intersection of the line that we just draw now is in line with this line uh, with this point that we marked earlier. This point that we marked to be 4.5 centimeter. So, so, so those are the things that um, shows when your construction is correct. And once your construction is correct, all these figures will uh, match each other, they will tally. So now for this part that I've just drawn, let me just make it bold so that we can see the progress we've made so far. Remember I, I started working with uh, faint lines because that's, I think, uh, like I said earlier, that's the best approach, especially if you are a beginner with, in um, isometric projection so you use faint line to make sure that uh, you are getting all your lines and all the construction generally are correct then I can join this So then for this side, so you can see gradually we are having our, our drawing. So let's see what we have here. This is 1.5. So, so 1.5 centimeter is right here. So let me bring back the T square. Let me put my T square. 
now i want to do this uh, this inside so what we are having here those three lines that are meeting here so that's what i want to do now so once i have my t square i bring back the set square so from this point i'll draw a line upward so from this point so this point here is the same thing like from this point here to touch this line and from their point of intersection so you can see we already have that so let me just make it let me just uh, use a thick line So you can see. So now let's continue with this with this back, with the one at the back, since we are done with the front. So from here we can easily join it to this line. So like uh, like I said in the previous part of the video, the best way of understanding uh, this thing is for you to not just watch it alone, but also practice it. You know, put your uh, pencil to paper, you bring in your tools and then you practice all of these drawings. That's the best way of learning how to draw an isometric drawing and technical drawing generally. So let's measure the, uh, this. This should be 35 millimeter, which is 3.5 centimeter. So this, this is it. So that's... And if you look closely, you see that we've been able to replicate this particular isometric projection. This is it here. So the next thing you have to do now is to, is to add the dimensions. So I want you to note something. So if you look closely, you see that you are seeing some of these lines that are, you know, that are visible. You know, they are supposed to be a thin line. Thin line where, you know, it will not be very visible like, like you are seeing. But the reason why you are seeing it in this particular video is because I only made it like that so that you can see it. If I should make it very faint, you won't see it. For example, if you look at the main drawing I have here, there are uh, there are thin lines also. You know, there are construction lines, but you you won't see them. If you can see it very well, you see that there's a line here, there's an intersection here, but you can see that it's not as visible as the ones you are seeing here. So I only made this one a little more visible so that you can see it. So make sure that your construction lines are, are very thin, you know, very faint, very faint. I hope you understand what I'm saying. So now let me go ahead and uh, add uh, the the dimensions for this particular drawing. So here is 20 and then this is 10. So with this now I've been able to add the, the dimension. So I hope you find this video helpful. Please if you do, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question or any comment, leave it in the comment section below. And then in the next one, you are going to be looking at drawing 11. So drawing 11 will be coming up immediately after this video. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in isometric drawing 11.